Ibrahim Sadik, yes. last uh, game was in Kalmar. Mm -hmm. He was awarded the uh, man of the match. Mm, yeah. How do you feel about that? Trust me, if I knew I was the man of the month, then I'm lying to you. I didn't know until like Chris told me that I was the man of the month. But um, you know, sometimes it's good to have this um, some guys like looking at you and like knowing what you've done for the team and like how the team is doing, and it's like a big thing for me. First of all, like. It's it's good that like we got a point and like nothing, and like having this man of the match was also good to like boost my confidence and everything to also help the team, and at least like we try to play our game. And having this man of the match was good because it also like helped me to have more confidence in myself. So uh, yeah, I think it it's, it was a good exposure though. Because it was also your first start in uh, quite a yeah, long, long time, time as well. Yeah, that How was, was it to play 90 minutes or all, at uh, least start almost. Yeah, I, almost. Uh, was was first. I was a bit hard because it's been a like long time starting in the team, and you know when you don't start, it's kind of hard for the heart. But it's just the like mentality that you have that like because if if I didn't psych my mind well, then I think it won't go well as I did. So I was just like, and with the help of my teammate and everything, I think stuff was good. But it was good to also start in the certain level. Yeah. And uh, you got one point due mm -hmm. to uh, to the Sana small, to mm -hmm. which US did an assist. Yeah. How important was that point? It was really, really important because if like we lost that game, it would be very, very hard for us. Not very hard, but like it would, it would be, it would be a weird um, drive back home. Because like we did, like we did, how we like we played well. We we like pressed well. We did like everything. So we having this like one point was also good for us to, to take us to the like next stage. And it's good that like we are still on top of the league. So I think the point that like we got was like really, really important to us. Yeah. And uh, now. Hammarby awaits yep. and will be in for uh, full attendance at Bradford Arena. Mm -hmm. How much uh, do you feel the pressure of these games? And um, I won't say there's much pressure and I won't say there is not pressure because this is not my uh, first time playing in a full stadium or something like that. But I've, I've heard how crazy the fans of Hammarby are and we too. Although like we don't have fans but we, I really, really like appreciate our fans, how they like help us behind, like they shot behind us, help us to play well and everything. And I can't wait to see how like the stadium will be loud because that's like one thing that help us, the fans. They, they really help us a lot when like things are not going on well. So we are, I'm so like ready, trust me. I don't, I'm so, so like ready for the game and everything because I know like fans also help us to play. So. If if I see something like this, I'm like motivated to help the team and play well as well. How much energy does it give you to go? A into lot, a trust me, a lot. Like you know when like you are tired and the fans start shouting on you, like giving you more hope. Like you you get some like ten percent extra energy in you. So we I just hope to see them at the stadium a lot to help us to push us and so we will try our best to give them a point, like three points tomorrow. And uh, Hamadou is also one of the top contenders mm -hmm. uh, in the league at the moment. Yeah. Uh, how do you want to play against Hamadou? Uh, we just go with our style, how the coaches want us to play everything. <laughs> we just go with our style and like how the coaches want us to play, you know, we just go with what we, like we've been doing all through the week. We just stick, uh, stick with our plan and like Wait for it, you know, like sometimes you just need to let the legs talk than the mat. So we just go there and do our best and play how like we want to, how Hekin wants to play. Yes. Amabi also plays quite uh, alike mm -hmm. uh, as Beko Hekin mm -hmm. uh, with their uh, fullbacks going yeah. very offensive. Mm -hmm. How does that affect you as a winger? Mm -hmm. um, we can take it in a two ways, good and bad, because then like good one is I have like more space in behind to run and like hurt them 
you know so the bad one is not not even bad one it's a good one because I, I also help my full back to tackle some boss and also have more attacks on them and I think it's good good there's no bad in this one because if he goes then he, he opens like more space for me and uh, Sana and the ones that were also in the in the, in my position so I think it's it's a like win-win f for us because we are fast and if, if he goes up and he opens space then he get hurt yes Ibrahim Sadiq, yes. thank you so much and thank good you. luck uh, thank you so much. on the game against Hamadou. Thank you.